Hey Virgo, Summon, Rising, Venus. So this is what we got going on for your Sunday energy read for the afternoon. So we got the Two of Cups to the Four of Cups in reverse to the Page of Pentacles to the Ten of Cups to the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo, Summon, Rising, Venus. So this is just letting me know, Virgos. Some of you guys might be single at the moment, okay? Maybe you guys are still living at home, okay? Uh, nonetheless, Virgos, there could have been a connection that you guys were dealing with in the recent past. Uh, just letting you guys know that the connection is not over between the two of you guys. Divinely, with the divinity, it's not over, okay? So you guys have a soul contract with this person that, that has not ended. Even though you guys are not together with this person at the moment, Virgos, it, it hasn't ended, okay? Uh, nonetheless, uh, you guys could have been dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, heavy, a lot of water and earth and, and energy at the moment, okay? Uh, Virgos, also, there, maybe this is a separate read for some other people, there's also the Devil, the Fool, the Judgment, the Four, and the Six of Wands, Virgos, is letting me know. Uh, Virgo, somebody here is a little bit obsessed with you, okay? A Capricorn energy here, Aries energy here as well. Maybe this, uh, maybe somebody who you guys are dealing with, uh, they're a very toxic, okay? Alcohol, drugs, um, maybe their behavior is toxic as well. Virgo, someone or the Venus. Um, the Aries here to the judgment, to the four of pentacles, Virgo, this is just letting me know that this person here holds on to their feelings. They hold on to their emotions. They, they do everything they can to protect their hearts. They don't, they don't say much, okay? But nonetheless, God is protecting uh, you and, and the family and this other person, your your other half, okay, Virgos? Uh, nonetheless, uh, if you guys are single at the moment, Virgos, um, I don't know if you guys are going to want to be with somebody who's very, very toxic. And if you guys are living with somebody, it almost makes you guys feel like you guys are, it makes you, if you guys are living with somebody who's very toxic and a very much so at a low vibration, it makes you feel like you guys are single with the Nine of Pentacles here, Okay. The Tower, the Emperor, the King of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and the Sun, and then the Three of Cups, Virgo. So this is letting me know, okay, Two of Cups, Capricorn, Devil, and the Tower. Something talking is going to be ending up happening at the house, okay, Virgos? If you guys are living with somebody of an Aries, a Taurus, a Libra uh, as well, Virgo, this person is very do uh, domineering, very controlled, very, very possessive, very protective, okay, Virgos? At the end of the day... Um, uh, you guys might be having money problems. You're not happy at the house that you're living at at the moment. And I don't know if you guys want to be with this person with the Three of Cups here. Maybe there was somebody else that was involved in the picture, Virgo, Summon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, I have the Ace of Wands to the Eight of Cups to the King of Cups here, Virgos. This is letting me know that somebody wants a new beginning here with you, okay? Uh, they want to come back towards you. They have a lot of love for you. They're waiting for their ship to come in to the Three of Wands. They're still holding on to you for dear life, okay, Virgos? They're very, very regretful on how they emptied out your cup because in the recent past they were very very deceptive to you they were very fraudulent okay they left you out in the cold virgos five of pentacles they ghosted you they left you out in the cold they stagnated though they stagnated the relationship between you and them you didn't deserve it but they did um everything that you were able to offer this person they're like you know what nope i don't want any of it you guys were able to offer them a home a family kids a car love uh, uh, loyalty, honesty, you're able to offer them so much, Virgos, okay? It caused a little bit of argument between the two of you guys. You guys have definitely had to tug and tug and war with each other. Uh, definitely a disagreement there, okay? To the Eight of Swords, it left you very, very chopped in your mind. It left you very, very upset as well. There's also uh, another person here, Queen of Wands energy. Yep, Virgos, there's another woman who is not only that, who is very... Um, who is going through the ringer at the moment. They're very trapped. They're very remorseful. I think there was a Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here who emptied out your cup, Virgos. At the end of the day, if they are not of an air, if they are not of an of a fire sign, Virgos, uh, for me, this lets me know that they could have potentially had fire in their chart somewhere, in their sun, moon, rising, or Venus, okay? You guys are here with the Queen of Cups, okay? Uh, I really do believe that there. If you guys are dealing with some, if you guys are dealing with somebody who has a karmic, okay, this person's gonna come towards you and they're gonna talk to you, Virgos. Okay, maybe he was an Aquarius as well. Uh, maybe the, there's somebody that's gonna be coming. Maybe an Aquarius is gonna come talk to you and uh, tell you nothing, nothing good. Okay. Like, they're not going to apologize to you. They just don't have anything good to say to you, okay? Yeah, coming in with the Ace of Swords. Uh, they're not going to be honest with you, Virgos, okay? You guys could have had a, maybe a sexual connection with each other.